Facebook. I nearly said Instagram then. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening, ladies. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I can't believe it's Thursday already. I cannot believe it's Thursday already. This week has flown. Oh, what's even happening? So if you're here live, as always, please let me know in the comments. I love to know who's on live. I love to know who's joining the new. If you are watching this on a replay, let me know that you've watched it on a replay as well, because I do like to know if you've caught up with it. Uh, and if you're on live, like I say, pop a comment in the box. I don't know which side it's on, but pop one in. Um, so today's a general mindset session. Yes! I love talking about mindset. Um, so we're not about nutrition, we're talking about the mind. That's normally the thing that lets us down when it comes to us health and fitness goals, isn't it? It's not the fact that we don't know what to eat, because we do know how to eat healthily. And it's not the fact that we don't know how to exercise, because we all know what exercise is and we know how to do it. The mind is the bit in the middle that normally determines whether we get to the goal or whether we don't. Hello, Carol. Lovely to have you on. So we're going to be doing how to have control over your mindset. And I've got on here three keys to controlling your mindset. Just three. There are many more, but I wanted to just come on and do <clears throat> these three in particular today. Um, and I did this training the other day for some of my friends um, who trade, so they do cryptocurrency and all that, and I did this little thing for them, and they said it was really good the other night, and they really enjoyed it. They sat there taking notes, some of them and stuff, which is really cute. So I hope you lot get a lot of value from it as well. Hello, Sarah. I hope you're having a lovely evening as well. Thank you for coming on live. So, yeah, we're going to do the three, uh, three keys to controlling your mindset. So, number one. Number one, when it comes to controlling this, the first thing that we have to do, this is before anything else, first thing we have to do, and it sounds really simple, but it's to be aware. And what I mean when I say by be aware is we have to sort of assess where we're currently at in our head. Where are we with our mindset? Like, is it a problem? And if so, what part of it is a problem we need to start being aware of where we slip up sort of thing so when i when i say this as well i sort of mean look into your the way you talk to yourself so what sort of things do you say this could be verbally or this could be mentally you don't have to physically say this stuff but what sort of stuff are you saying in here to yourself and is it positive or negative? So do you talk down to yourself? Oh, Daisy, you stupid idiot. Or oh, this or... Like, what sort of things are you saying in here? Or what sort of things are you saying out your mouth? What are you saying to other people? Because that can be a really good indication of where your mindset's currently at from the things that you say and the things that you think. So having a clear sort of awareness of where you're currently at is the first thing that you have to do. Because if you're not aware, you can't change it, can you? So you sort of need to know the set point and where we're starting off from. Now, I'm not going to go through how to sort of change your uh, self-talk and all that sort of stuff, because there's strategies that take ages to go through it, and that's what's in the academy that I run. So we're not going to do that. But what I am going to tell you is there's something that you can do to help your self-talk and help you know, your awareness of things. And a lot of people probably think I'd never do that because it's cringy. But I'm telling you, it works. And it's affirmations, right? Affirmations. Now, if you don't know what an affirmation is, it's basically like a positive statement as such. Now, saying them verbally is always more, more better. It's always better more effective, that's what I was looking for, hello Paulette, lovely to have you on as well, um, yeah, so saying them verbally has more of, a, more of an effect, can't get my words out, than writing them, however, you can write them down, and you can have them somewhere where you see them often, that's still good, because you're still looking at those affirmations, so here's an example of one, let's say you normally say to yourself, something like, um, let me think one off the top of my head. Does anybody have anything that they say in their head that they'd like me to do it as an example? Because I will. Um, for example, um, I here we go. Right, I've got one. I can't go to the gym. I'm not fit enough. 
That's what I hear a lot. I can't go to the gym, I'm not fit enough. Right, so if that's the thing that comes up, then the way to change that and the way to like spin it is to put it into a positive affirmation instead of the one that you think. So it would be something like, I go to the gym to get fit and healthy so that I can have the body that I desire. Something like that. That's just been plucked out of my head randomly. But you get me drift. What you're doing is getting this, whatever it is that's negative in your life and you're going to sort of twist it on its head and write a positive statement that's the flip opposite to what you think. Now, like I say, it's not a cure, but it's something that can help. And all I'm here to do is to try and help you. So that's what I'm giving you, some help there. Um, the other strategies take a little bit more doing and a bit more digging, but that's something you could do instantly now, right this second. Um, and like I say, have them where you see them or say them verbally. It has more power when you're saying verbally. And I know it's really embarrassing and you might think, I feel like an idiot, but it's more powerful to do it that way. So I sometimes do it, preferably when my mum's not in, but I do it, read them out, I've got them on my bedroom wall. Um, so the next one, right, the next one, and I spoke about this before. I've spoke about this before in another live that I did on my personal profile a while ago. Um, so number two to changing, um, controlling your mindset is perception. Perception is everything. The way you perceive something to be is the way that it is, even if it's not. That does make sense. So, for example, I'm going to use a personal story, and this is what I used when I did this live a couple of months ago, is that um, in summer, me and my other half, ex other half, split up. He dumped me. I got dumped, girls. It's not nice, is it? It's not nice. And I were upset. I were very upset, and I cried. I cried a lot. But in that moment... I had to make a decision, and that decision was, what am I going to focus on, and how am I going to perceive this situation, because there was two options, there was either, I'm going to perceive this as, he don't love me, there's something wrong with me, you know, like we do, we blame ourselves, don't we, like, oh, I'm too fat, or have I put some weight on, or is this wrong, or have I, you know, the blame thing, we would blame ourselves, and feel unattractive, or I could look at the positives and think, you know what, this is a good thing. Because I can focus on myself. I can spend more time with my mum. I can do da, 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 da. So in that moment, I decided to have a different perception of what had just happened. It wasn't about the fact that I was unattractive or he didn't want to be with me and ah, da, 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 da. No, it was that I'm going back to my mum's ass and I'm going to work on myself, be happier, be, be, be. And I've actually come out of that relationship happiest I've ever been in my life. But after it, when it had just happened, I were mortified. I were mortified. Like, I were close to tears every time I were, like, doing a boot camp. It, it was terrible. But I had a choice, and it, my perception was that choice. How am I going to perceive this situation? And you have a choice in your life as to how you perceive things that are happening, whether that be something to do with relationships, that was just my example, or whether it's something else at work. If someone speaks to you like, shit... Does that mean that they either the two ways are, well, they don't like me or they're having a bad day? I'm telling you something now. I'll tell you what I prefer to focus on. They're just having a bad day. Are they, are they all right? And I'd rather go down that route than think they don't like me. Have they got, some, have they got a problem? So your perception on everything is the way that that dictates your life. That dictates your happiness, dictates how you feel about things. And if you're sitting watching live or if you're watching on replay... Think about something in your life now that's probably not overly good, a bit negative, maybe doing your reading. And how can you perceive it in a different way? Just think about that for a second. How can you take whatever it is that's happening to you, if it is a little bit negative and a bit crappy, and perceive it in a different way? And if you're thinking, yeah, well, there's no other way to see this because it's crap. Then think, all right, then, if that's the case, is there any lessons that you can learn from this? Can you come back stronger, better? Just think about things like that. Because not everything has a positive other side. Like perception, my my nonna, and you, some of you know this story, she um, got poorly years ago, years ago, and she had cancer. And that was devastating, as you can imagine. It's not, a, it's not something that you want to hear that anybody's got, let alone your own nonna. 
And when she passed away, we, I was mortified. But in that instant, I had to change my perception. Not that Nana's not here anymore. My perception was she's up there, she's watching me, and she's going to be wanting me to work my bloody arse off. And I knew she would have. So I changed my perception and I used it as fuel, knowing that she's always looking down on me. And every time I did something, I did it 10 times harder. Every time I got on that treadmill while I was uh, getting ready for a competition, I'd run faster. Uh, everything was fueled by that. And that's only because I changed my perception. Instead of focusing on the lack of her being here physically, I then went to think, well, she's there spiritually. And that kept me going. But that's only a change of perception. I only changed the way I looked at that situation. There was no good way about it, were they? Like, there's no good in it. Someone's gone. But you can shift your perception and use it for something better. So please think about that if you've got things in your life, because that's the, the biggest thing for me is perception on everything. Everything. There's always a couple of sides to each story. So always think about that when you're going through tough times. And the third one, I've actually stayed on that one for longer than I thought I would. <laughs> when I get into it, I get into it, don't I? Um, and the third one, uh, and it sort, of, it sort of ties into the first one, like awareness, but thoughts, right? And this, if you've never heard of Law of Attraction, I urge you to look into this. And you might think, oh, it's a load of rubbish. Well, I'm telling you something now. It's really changed my life. It really has. And and the, th the process behind this is whatever you put out there, you get back, right? So if you think about it, and uh, I'm not going to actually say to put this in the comments, but you could put a hands up if you know somebody like this. You don't have to put nobody's names, God's sake. But if you know somebody who's always got drama going off, there's probably somebody you know in your life, there's probably somebody that comes to mind straight away, they always got drama going off. But that person is normally the centre of the drama a lot of the time. They're probably bitchy, they're probably not very nice to people, but they've always got some drama going off. It's because they put that out there and that comes back to them tenfold, right? So if you're putting out there, and this is not just verbally, your thoughts as well. So if you're putting good thoughts and good things out into the world, you get that back. You get that back. And I'm not saying like if you're putting thoughts out there like I'm going to be a millionaire, that millionaire, like money just flows to you. But what, if you're a good person, you are going to get good things back to you. And if you can sort of switch your mindset to think about things like that, then that massively shifts. It shifts your life. So not only the awareness of the how you talk to yourself, you've got your perception of situations and then you've got the way you think about things and what you think about and what you put out into the world. Because I always say, and I say this all the time, uh, where focus goes, energy flows. Whatever you focus on, you get more of. Whatever you pour your energy into, you get more of. So always think about that. Whatever you're putting your your mental energy into, you will get back. Put it into love, laughter, happiness, you'll get that back. Put it into drama, bitchiness, whatever, you'll, you'll get that back. So that is, they're, they're my top three, my top three keys to changing your mindset. Um, and I like, I like this little quote, and I wrote it down because I thought, I'm going to say this today as well. And this is a good one. This is, again, back to your thoughts. Whether you think you can or can't, you're right. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. That blows your mind, though, doesn't it? Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Because it's all in here. If you think you can't do something, well, no, you can't. If you think you can, you will. And it's all about your thoughts. And mindset stuff is pretty woo-woo, isn't it? Mindset stuff is woo-woo. It's all about energy and all this. And some people think, I don't believe in all that. And neither did I. Neither did I. I didn't believe in any of this woo-woo energy stuff until I actually started thinking, oh, I might be on something here. I'll try it, you know. I'm willing to try a new thing, see what happens. And I've never looked back. I've never looked back at all. So I really hope that you got value from what I had to say about these three points. I really hope you can apply them to your life and give them a go, even if it's one of them. One of them will make a difference. You don't have to do all three, but all three will completely change, just completely change the way you think about things. So that's all I've got to say today, really, in terms of the training. 
There's one thing I want to add on the, bo the bottom of this, and I'm really excited about it. Oh. Um, I'm going to be running a 31-day challenge in January. 31 days. It's not so much, here's what to eat, here's your exercise. Because we all know that that alone doesn't really work. Because we've all tried it before. But what it is, it's going to be changing habits, changing patterns, changing beliefs, changing all the stuff that keeps us stuck. It's going to be 31 days of changing all that, getting solid goals and running forwards with them. That's the plan of the 31 days. So instead of getting a New Year's resolution and sacking it off after January or sacking it off after February, you're going to have the tools to keep going. Now, don't worry. Nutrition and stuff's covered. I'm not going to sack that completely off. Um, the, the 31 days is going to consist of five coaching calls. Group ones, all of us on together. Not like this. Actually, on together where I can see you all and talk to you all face to face. Because I want that face to face contact with you all. Um, so it's five coaching calls. One every week for, for five sort of, five sort of weeks. Yeah, because it's five weekends in January, believe it or not. Um, you're going to get a full workbook. And after each live that I do for you all, you'll have a little assignment and you'll go in your workbook and you do your assignment. So I'll, all the workbooks are included in there as well with all your little assignments in there. You'll get the full training that you need to go and do them. And there's going to be a Facebook group that we can all hang out in. I'm actually going to do this 31 days with you. So I'm going to print myself my own workbook and I'm going to do it too. And I'm going to do the exercise, and I'm going to do the nutrition, and I'm going to see what results I get as well. So I'm going to be jumping in with you lot, and I'm going to be doing it too. Like, I'm ready for a, a January challenge. Also, I've added some extras in, right? Because I thought, you know what? I'm going to add some extras in, because I'm just feeling, I'm feeling funky. What you get out, you, do you know what I mean? What you give out, you get back. Yes. So, that being said, I've added in, I've did a, I did a self-belief workshop, right? So I've put that in there. Also, a recipe book. I've got quite a few different recipe books, so I'm banging a recipe book in there. There's going to be an access to a home workout database with some home workouts for you in there, pre-recorded that I've done before, so you can exercise from home. So you're going to get access to that. Also, example meal plans. Example meal plans. They're going to be tailored, but they're examples. So you can see breakfast, lunch, dinner ideas, snack ideas. Example plans that you can pick and choose from and use if you'd like to use. And also, you will get a 30-minute one-to-one coaching call with me over Zoom where we're going to talk about your stuff specifically and I'm going to coach you for half an hour on anything it is that you've got issues with and that you need guidance with. So not only do you get the five once a weeks, um, the booklet, the Facebook accountability group, there's all that extra stuff as well. The price for the 31 days is only 97 quid. For all of that, 97 quid. Now, I am going to add something to this. I'm only going to do the one-to-one -one coaching calls for the first 10 people because if I get like 20 people join, that is a lot of coaching calls. So, and I want to get them done in the first week. I want to get them done in the first week because I want you all to be ready. Yeah. So if anybody wants to jump on for this, the closing date is Christmas Day, 25th. I don't want anybody else jumping in after that because I want to know where my numbers lie and what we're going to be doing uh, with the one-to-one -one calls. So if it's something that you want to do, it's 97 for the month with all the extras, all the jazz. Um, please comment here on this box, wherever it is, if you're interested or private message me. And I can send the details over so we can get you on the list and get everything sorted for you. I'm proper excited for it because I can't wait to see what transformations come out of 31 days. It's amazing what you can do when you're committed for 31, well, for any amount of days. But 31 days, a full month, see what you can do in a full month and see what you can then do after that. Do you know when you've started to master this, the world is your oyster. So I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. 
But if you're interested, Paula, I will get in touch with you. I'd love to have you on there. You'll really enjoy it as well. Um, so, yes, I'll get in touch with you, Paula. If anybody's watching on replay as well, feel free to comment in the comment box and I'll, I'll reach out to you and send you a voice note. All right. But have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got massive value from this one. You know I love my mindset stuff. Please apply the things that I've said and it will honestly change your life. And if you're interested in the 31-day challenge, pop a comment, drop me a message, and I'll get in touch. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you all next week.